Hello, welcome to the Conquerors 3, but set in the medieval era, you are a king, and it is in God's right that you build stuff, expand your lands, protect your lands, and raise an entire civilization out of the map. What is the goal of the game? Simple. Destroy any other castle in the game. But how? By raising an army. Raising an army costs a lot. So you have to get a good economy first. I can't argue enough that you should send your builders away to farm tiles to build a windmill first before others take it. But if the farm tile seems too far. In the early parts of the game, you can send in your king as they can limit the other players. Builders to build their windmills. You can also try recruiting an archer to guard. But what do you do if they constantly attack your windmills? Well put that archer in a highly fortified area. And you'd get an advantage. Towers can protect your windmills and are relatively cheap to make. You can use them as walls to establish your borders. Watch towers are like two towers combined into one. And an outpost which is like your castle, but smaller. You can only build one of these. So best to put them where they are needed. Some maps have water. You can send a builder to make a port on the water. Fishing boats can generate a ton of money. To make them make money, send them to a fishing spot. Only one of your boats can occupy a fishing spot, but other people can join in to share. Similar to defending your windmills. You have to defend your fishing boats. You can't place towers at sea. So you have to build a tower that floats at sea. Attack ships are your friend to show your dominance at sea. And battleships are the big only sands of attack ships, which are bigger and better. There is a saying, if you control the seas, you can pretty much have everything. You can regulate trades, have a monopoly in the seafood industry, patrol hostile coastlines, and remove any signs of an uprising. Have your other competitors enjoy land? Because they would be staying there forever. I recommend having at least 15 crossbowmen in a tight formation. When trying to take on the enemy base. Of course, if the enemy has more defense. Send more men to fight. Have an ally to support you on your conquest. Request for them to send men to fight alongside you. But an ally might be unreliable. Because either they take too long to prepare or straight up doing nothing, which I had experience playing solo, but that 1% chance th of being allied with a Sun Tzu Art of War reader, it's pretty much an easy game. Oh yeah, forgot to mention, wizards are crazy powerful. I don't want peace, I want problems, always!